In previous videos, we learned about the characteristics of datasets, like averages, means, and ranges. Another important characteristic of data is a standard deviation. Standard deviation is a measure of how spread out the numbers are in a data set. But for this to make more sense, let's have a look at an example. Two teams competed in a 200 meter sprint over the weekend. Both teams had six runners each in the race and their times were recorded below. After the race, they argue over which team ran a better race. How can we decide this? Well, let's take a look at the stats. The green team had Emma running at 17.26 seconds, Stephen with 23.4 seconds, Jacob with 30.31 seconds, Sarah with 24.11 seconds, Naveed with 25.07 seconds, and Alexa finished the race at 20.47 seconds. Now having a look at the blue team, Dylan ran the race in 25.32 seconds, Taylor in 26.44 seconds, Kiana in 26.58 seconds, Anna in 22.1 seconds, Ashlyn with 24.03 seconds, and finally Dakota finished the race in 25.49 seconds. Now the green team suggests to simply find the mean, or the average, of each team's time to see who ran the better race. If we take the average of the blue team by adding up all of their times and dividing by the number of team members, we get 24.99 seconds versus the mean of the green team, which is 23.44 seconds. According to these results, the green team had a lower mean, which leads us to believe the green team ran a better race. However, the blue team argues this is incorrect, and looking at the data sets, we can see that something is off. The blue team seems to have all their times within a small range. Their fastest time was 22.1 seconds, and their slowest time was 26.44 seconds. But the green team had a larger range of times. Their fastest time was 17.26 seconds but their slowest time was 30.31 seconds. So from these ranges, something seems off, and we need to find a way to get a more accurate picture of the data. This is done by finding the standard deviation. The definition of standard deviation is a measure of the extent to which data cluster around the mean. In other words, the standard deviation is a measure of how spread out the numbers are in a data set and is shown by the Greek letter sigma. Let's go back to our track example. We found the mean of the green team to be 23.44 seconds and the mean of the blue team to be 24.99 seconds. Now we want to look at the standard deviation of each team. For now, I will give you these values, but in the next lesson, we will learn how to actually calculate them. For the green team, the standard deviation is 4.03 seconds. And for the blue team, it is 1.54 seconds. Now the green team has a high standard deviation, meaning the data is very spread out. But the blue team has a low standard deviation, meaning its values are closer to or clustered around the mean. To visualize this, let's look at this on a number line. In red, we have the mean for both teams. For the green team, the data is very spread out along the number line, meaning some team members had a very fast time, while other team members were very slow. Thus, some team members did have a much better race than the blue team, and some didn't. For the blue team, the times are clustered around the mean, meaning it has a low standard deviation and all team members finished the race around the same time. Thus, all team members finished the race with a consistently good time. Another way to look at this is from a bird's eye view of the track. In yellow, we have the mean for both teams. The runners of the green team are very spread out around the mean, meaning it has a high standard deviation. And the members of the blue team are clustered around the mean meaning it has a low standard deviation. 
Hopefully, from this video, we can see how important the standard deviation is, since it gives us a more accurate picture of the data. In our next lesson, we'll learn how to calculate the standard deviation and apply some real-life examples.